So hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Wangoi Mwangi. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, please take your time to subscribe to my channel. I really do love it when you subscribe and when you more even when you view and watch my content. Uh, my content is normally on nursing and today I will be talking about six qualities that would help our nurses improve the quality of patient care or nursing care offered to our patients right here in Kenya. And yes, they are easy, they are implementable, they are basic, but they are very, very important. So if every young nurse or every nursing student actually adhere to the six core values that I'm going to be talking about in this video, they could actually improve the level of care given in Kenya and definitely improve the quality of health services offered by our national health services or our health system right here in Kenya. It really doesn't matter the kind of patients you will be interacting with because the most important person that you should focus on when you're determining the quality of care to give is your client. Anybody could be your client and every person is important. So today I will be discussing six values that are very, very important to improve the quality of nursing care in Kenya. Let's dive right in. So number one is working together to achieve quality care. This is a very important point because while you work together for patients, you are able to allow each other to grow, to learn and to thrive from each other's experiences. And because where there is unity and where there is that, there is this power of synergy. This cohesiveness and this working together will actually result in better quality of nursing care provided to all our clients, which is the goal of any healthcare system here in Kenya and globally. Quality number two is respect and dignity. It is imperative that all nurses hold all their customers, their clients, their colleagues with respect and dignity. It is of vital importance because were it not for respecting one another, we are not able to work with each other properly. And if you do not respect your clients, you are not going to communicate with them as effectively and in a way that is commensurate with their needs. As you're doing your caring needs or the, as you are assessing, you're doing your, their caring assessments for each patient, it is important to consider to ensure that you display or you show them respect and dignity because every human being, whether it's a one day old child or has just been born from neonate to old age, every single person responds well to respect and dignity and therefore if we embrace this and we hold it deep deeply rooted as our core value then we're able to improve the quality of nursing in kenya so number three i know this sounds like a repetition i would say is commitment to quality of care and commitment to quality of care in this point what i mean is that every single nurse have their own responsibility but if it is not ingrained deep down in them and they're not committed to, they don't make that commitment sometimes they may even sleep off and forget about why we do what we do so to improve the quality of care provided in our kenyan to our kenyan people by our kenyan nurses or by nurses practicing in kenya then it is important to remember this point and be and remain committed and focus on the patients and on providing the best care possible. It doesn't matter if this is the poorest man in Kenya or the richest man in Kenya. We should all have that commitment to quality of care, to provide that quality of care, whether you're practicing in the government hospitals, in a dispensary, or you're, you're practicing in the most prestigious private hospitals, or you're working in the most prestigious government institutions, again, commitment to quality of care should be with you, and you should learn and get committed each day. And be commit being committed means that you are willing to even learn more skills and implement them in your workplaces and get more competencies. And this, again, shows your commitment to the quality of care. Number four is compassion. The nursing profession relies heavily. It's both an art and a science 
when it comes to nursing, you both have to have the scientific knowledge because you are going to be working with people and human beings requires the best and you need to understand what the needs or this means or that means and therefore that's the science part. Then we have the art, art part which is about caring. The art of caring is learned and is perfected over time. Just think about a moment where you had to take care of a member of your family, just at home, maybe they had a slight illness or maybe they had a headache or they were vomiting or they were throwing up or even your friends, like you went out and someone is vomiting. I always see people caring for that other person, the person that they care for. For nurses, it is your duty as a professional nurse, especially when you're in uniform and working, to display this compassion and to actually care for the patient because that is your primary focus. So, and therefore, compassion has to do with giving your all to the care of that client to ensure that they're comfortable, to ensure that they're well taken care of and that their needs have been assessed, taken care of and actions have been done or implemented to make them either more comfortable, to treat their illness, to provide comfort in areas where that is what is required and again to stand with them while they are going through the different phases of the illness or the health illness continuum. So compassion, compassion, compassion. Then point number five is improving lives. It is important to remember that each day we grow, we meet people, we interact with them and we make an impression on them and they do on us. So as long as you're growing and as long as you're practicing your nursing, you are, yourself, you're going to improve your own life. You're going to improve the quality of the life of the people around you. Uh, you will have people calling you in the middle of the night asking questions that they need to know about what their medical report says. Sometimes all they need is that information. Sometimes what they need is so basic and you can provide it. So it should feel good to actually improve their quality of life by giving them information. I believe in empowering people through information giving because, because uh, our Kenyan scenario, sometimes we see lives lost because of information that wasn't, uh, or people not being aware about certain risks, certain dangers, or even not knowing that they can actually seek health care for free if they need it, they need it to in any government hospital. And when it is emergency care, any hospital in Kenya is bound by law to provide emergency care services, even if you do not have a shilling in your pocket, to save your life before they can transfer you then to a neighbor government facility to take up your case in the event that they're not able to keep you longer once you stabilize in their institution. So in the event that you see a mother in labor struggling, even if you're not a hospital, even if you're just a Kenyan, it is important you help. Sometimes the help that is needed is calling out for help. That is important because once you call out for help, someone who can help comes. Some help could be bring the person some privacy, some lessons. I see women do this very quickly. And when someone is struggling, let's say they were to give birth by the roadside or in the marketplace, women take over the show, they bring lessons, they surround the woman, they do their thing as they are waiting for either an ambulance or they are waiting for a vehicle to ferry them to the hospital. And therefore it is very imperative to ensure that every day you are striving to improve your life the life of your loved ones and other people in your life, especially those you encounter as clients or as patients in your line of work. And finally, remembering that everyone counts is very vital for every nurse to remember. And remember that in our healthcare system, we want to feel everybody included and everybody cared for. Whether they own Kenya or they have nothing to their name. It doesn't matter how much riches you have, all that should matter is that client. Are they bleeding? Are they happy? Are they in pain? How can I make them, them feel better? And this goes away again to, remember, to remind yourself that even your colleagues should feel that they count. 
they should feel that you are willing to take care of them as they are willing to take care of you in return. So when we stand together and remember that everybody counts, that we don't have lesser beings and mortal beings or better beings, then nursing care will work. And the quality of nursing care in Kenya will be improved that way. Oh, thank you so much for watching this video and for watching my videos over time. I am really happy for those who are subscribing and commenting and interacting. We still need more people commenting. If you think you have, there are ways of which you can improve nursing care that I haven't mentioned because I said I will only tackle six points and there could be more. Please feel free to add them in comment section down below. Again, I'm Wangoi Mongi and I really do appreciate you.